so close. Got to trim a little bit off of that. Thanks for watching. This is a uh, very custom cabinet for this space, but I feel like there's some clever ideas in there for other spaces too. I've made plans available on my website for this cabinet design with the angled back. I also made a square back version as well. I'll talk about that more in a second. First, I wanna talk about Isotunes, the sponsor of this video, and their brand new Bluetooth hearing protection, the Free 2.0. If you know me at all, you know Isotunes. It's hearing protection, perfect for in the shop, in the yard, anywhere that you need it. But it's not just that, it also doubles as Bluetooth headphones. Literally every second I'm in the shop, I'm wearing my Isotunes. Shop safety and PPE is very important, but what's more importanter is PPE that you actually wanna wear. Isotune. Down below this video, you will find links to the Isotunes website along with discount codes to all of their headphones. Jackman 10 will get you 10% off anything. Jackman 15 gets you, you guessed it, 15% off, but that's only on the free 2.0 and only for a short time. Throughout this video, you saw me wear these three styles. The free aware is their wire-free version with their aware technology, which lets you hear your surroundings until they hit a certain decibel level. The Link 2.0 is the latest version of their high-end earmuff design with a super tough design and crazy battery life. And then there's the free 2.0, which is an upgrade on their original wireless design. It's completely free from wires. Oh. That's why they call it free. They have seven hours of battery life, triple that with a compact charging case. They are dust and water resistant. Really, there's no reason you shouldn't have them. Check out all the details of the links down below this video and save a little money while you're at it. Back to the cabinet. I plan to park, I plan to park this next to my lathe so this can keep organized all the little accessories that go along with the lathe. I'll also be adding some general hardware storage in here later, which is one of the reasons for all the shallow drawers. I have the convenient pull-out sharpening station right on top. My classic drawer pull design also acts as a good place to label what's in the drawers. And those times I just don't have enough table space for a project, I can spin this thing around and I more than triple the amount of horizontal space on the cabinet. Downloadable plans are available on my website. I will link that down below. Like I mentioned before, I also designed a square back version of this cabinet. So if you wanna build it for a normal space with normal walls, you can do that too. That's it. That's number three in a series of weekly build videos. So make sure you didn't miss any. And I will see you again next week. That was a bad idea.